Okay, it's time, it's time. Let's go ahead and um, talk about the coloring. The coloring. Now, there's gonna be two different rules that we're gonna use to color. You're gonna see that I use those two rules in this particular um, piece that I started. Um, first one, we're gonna use the color wheel. Yes, of the color wheel to pick the colors for our assignment here. Now, um, have you ever like wondered, you've drawn something like really awesome and it came out looking really well and you're like, man, what am I gonna color this thing? Cause when you start out with the color and you're thinking, oh man, what color is gonna go well with this? I don't know. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess it up. Ah! Well, <laughs> somebody figured it out for you. Here it is. Somebody way smarter than I am decided to sit down and do all kinds of experiments and in color and uh, figured out exactly what color looks well uh, with other colors. What color goes together well. And so came up with this color wheel. So I made this little chart here of the color wheel and we're going to use this periodically through the year to help us decide what color we're going to use or what colors are we going to use on various projects, okay? Now there's a ton of different ways to use a color wheel, but today we're going to use uh, what I like to call the triangle method. Yeah, that's why you saw this triangle right here, the triangle method. So let me show you how this works. Um, you're going to pick your favorite color of all time from this color wheel, okay? It's gonna be one color, you pick one color. Let's go through them right quick. There's yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, red, violet, violet, and in case you didn't know, violet is just another name for purple. So you could say red, purple, purple, blue, purple, and then blue, blue, green, green, yellow, green, and then back up to yellow. So you would pick one, of these colors that you just had to have on your uh, picture here. Pick one color that you just had to have on your picture, okay? And then once you pick that color, you take your triangle and you place one of the points, it don't matter which one, just place one of the points on that color, okay? One of the points on that color, see? And I, I, I really like that blue-green. You can't read it, but it says blue-green. And so now, once that is pointing at the blue-green, hold it in place, and the other two, the other two points are going to point to the other two colors that goes well with my blue-green. So I want to use blue-green, then that means I have to use yellow-orange and red-violet or red-purple. Okay, those are the three colors that I'm gonna use on my artwork, okay? And, and I did, I did. That, that's it right there. I have my red violet, I have my blue green, and I have my yellow orange, and it does look really good together. Those three colors, somehow, whoever came up with this thing, it works. Use it, guys, use it. We're all gonna use it. You pick the one color you want, like say you want it yellow, okay? You want yellow. Then you're gonna need blue and you're gonna need red. Yellow, red, and blue. That's the triangle method. You use this triangle to help you choose your colors, okay? Now that's rule number one. Now, rule number two. I want you to look at what I did. And this is really easy. But listen carefully. No two spaces that touch can be the same color, okay? See these two spaces right here? They share a wall. These two spaces, these two spaces cannot be the same color. They just can't. It's one of the rules that help this project, this abstract art work, it, it helps it work well. I, I, I don't know why it works, but it works too. This was my, of course, red violet. And then I didn't put red violet anywhere else around it. I put the other colors around it, make sure that they didn't touch, make sure they weren't the same color anywhere around it. And it worked out well. That, that little section worked out well. And then I skipped to another section 
and did the exact same thing. I had a couple of yellow oranges. I separated it with the red violet. I put a gr blue green up there. And this one, this one I got a blue green right here. So let me ask you, can blue green go here? Nope, 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 nope. Can blue green go here? Nope, 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 nope. Can blue green go here? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Can I put red violet right here? Now, if you said yes, then you didn't see that little red violet right there. Ha, 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 yeah, I know. That was almost like a trick question. How about right here, let's go up here. I think we can put a, well, I don't know. That touches that side. I think we might just have to leave this one white, guys. You see that? We have the blue green right there. We got two yellow oranges, and then we got a red violet right here. So this space might just actually have to stay white. And that happens sometimes. That's okay if it does happen. That's all right. You color as many spaces as you can, keep into those two rules, and we'll see how it looks after it's done, okay? So uh, that's uh, what we're going to do today, and I would like for you to go and have fun.